Hello, my name is Dave Robinson. I'm with Robinson Wholesale Bait in Genoa City, Wisconsin, and we're a distributor for the Aqualogic Tank Systems. Once you've made the good decision to go with an Aqualogic system, uh, you will order the tank and it's going to come in in a crate. And so you'll have to decide if you want liftgate service or if you have a dock and a forklift, you don't need that. But once the tank comes in, you'll need to uncrate it and then in your store choose a location for it. You'll have to be able to get water to the tank and you'll want to be able to drain the tank both conveniently. So we've chose this location for today and we'll show you how we're going to get water in and also get water out but the next thing that we will go through is the setup of the tank once you have put it into its location. With every tank, an operating manual will come with the purchase of the tank. And we are going to go ahead and walk you through the manual today. One of the important things is to make sure that the crossover pipe is connected to the filter cell manifold. If you don't have a good connection there, you can short circuit the filters. The newer tanks now are coming with a union here and so there's less chance of this pipe becoming disconnected. So the filter cell compartment sits on the bottom of the tank as you see and you have two types of filters that come in. Biomedia is in one, so this is the biofilter cell, or carbon. Carbon comes in the other one. An important thing to do when your filter cells come in is the carbon needs to be rinsed otherwise uh, the dust that's created in shipment will come into the water and you'll get gray water as a result so be sure and rinse your carbon filter cells before you add water to the tank okay we've got our filter cells ready to put in place we've got the carbons rinsed and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put the filter cells into the manifold. And it's just a one inch socket fitting. You want to set them in, you don't want to push them in so that when you need to take them out they're easier to get out. So I've got a carbon in and a biomedia in. Now we have all eight filter cells in place. And the drain is in place, the water pump is there, uh, we'll be able to put the chiller back in the tank and we are ready to put water in the tank. Okay, so now we've got the tank filled at the proper water level. We're ready to kick in the water pump and the chiller. And now I'm going to show you how to set your controller, which will, will control the water temperature in your tank. Okay, so here is the controller. And the reading is the actual tank water temperature, which is 49 degrees right now. We recommend in the Midwest 48 in the winter and 58 in the summer. So to set your controller press the set key once and it'll tell you whether you're in Fahrenheit or centigrade. The next set key tells you the set temperature so this chiller is set for 56 degrees. The next one is a differential that means that when the water warms up to 58 the chiller will kick on and it'll cool down to 56. There's a cooling mode and a heating mode. Uh, since there is no heater, the heating mode won't work. You want it in the cooling mode. And then once again, and it comes back to the regular temperature. So to bring the, therm uh, the controller to a temperature where it'll kick the thermostat on, and the chiller will come on. I'm going to dial the set temperature down two degree, three degrees lower than the regular temperature and that should kick on the chiller. Alright, now it will run until it's 46 
and it'll shut off again. But now you can hear the, the tank running with the chiller running. So it's very quiet. Okay, now you've got the tank filled to the proper water level. We've got the chiller running. We've got the water pump running. Uh, the next thing to do is put a water conditioner in. The water conditioner is used when you need to eliminate chlorine or heavy metal from the water. Uh, they both kill fish, so this product or a Sure Life equivalent works well to eliminate those two toxins. Uh, with this, we put two capfuls in to, to eliminate the toxins. You can also use uh, all-season pond bacteria to promote the growth of bacteria in your filter cells. And we use about a shot of this once a week to promote bacteria growth. So now we've got the additives in and the water, everything's ready to go. You're ready for minnows and you can call up your favorite bait supplier and, and get a load of minnows in. So that's the next thing we're going to do for your tank. Okay, we're ready for minnows, so we've called up our favorite bait man, and we're going to come in and Mike's going to put the minnows in the tank. most important things is to not put too many minnows in the tank to begin with. The more minnows that are in the tank, the harder that your filter cells have to work. So even though Mike likes to sell bait, you want to start out with a low volume so that your biofilters have time to colonize and they can start filtering the ammonia off that the fish are releasing. All right, we've completed the setup procedure for the Aqualogic bait tank. Time to step back and look at all the happy fish in your tank, and, and there's only one thing left to do. Cheers.